What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here and today I've got the DR coated rainbow strings. I wanted to try these out because recently I took my son Parker to the Dallas Guitar Show and there was a DR stand and I was like I've played DR strings before in fact I've played the colored ones before and it was like 15 years ago and I busted the high E string right away and I was like gosh darn it uh, I can't just replace a single green string so um, I, I got kind of frustrated and never really bought them again but my son was so excited because we had just bought his first guitar for him at the guitar show and he's like daddy I want those rainbow strings and I was like all right cool and uh, the guy who was selling them was like, hey, three for 20. I was like, oh, that's a pretty good deal. Considering the average price of regular strings right now is about five to $6. So I ended up being like 650 a set. I was like, cool, let's do it. And uh, I thought I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a set on myself and, and just try them out because it's been about 15 years. Give them, give them another try, see what I think. So here are my initial thoughts. Um, number one, the rainbow colors is maybe not for me. Uh, I would maybe choose like, like all one color, right? So I know they've got like white and green and I do have a set of white. So I'm excited to put those on. I think those would look really good on this guitar. Um, I think like a pink or a blue would be really cool on, on this guitar. So I don't know how much I love the look of rainbow for me specifically on this guitar, but let's talk about how they sound. I think the strings sound uh, really good, just like any other string. I think they're about equal in tone. In terms of feel, they definitely feel different than a regular string. Um, the best thing I can compare it to is years ago, Ernie Ball released their first like kind of expensive, longer life string. I don't know, I'll look it up after the video and I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. And uh, they were promised to sound great and, and last longer. But the problem is they, they just, they felt weird. They, they felt so different than a regular string um, and not in a good way. It was, it was just, I don't know, it was just weird. I didn't like them. But then they released the Paradigm which lasts longer and but also feel like a regular string. And so that's what I use pretty much all the time now. So these definitely have a different feel. Um, I don't know what the best way is to describe it, but uh, but it's not not in a bad way. The only reason that, that I would not recommend these strings is if you are doing a lot of shred stuff. If you're playing really fast, I do find that they do slow me down. My fingers tend to catch on this coated material, and I find that to be problematic. So if I'm just playing like riffs, then I think these are great. If you're doing mostly rhythm playing and some light lead guitar playing, cool. But if you're trying to shred on these things, uh, then these strings are probably not for you. So um, I guess my question I wanna to pose to you guys is, why do you think we don't see these uh, colored strings more often? I, I think uh, it's a real kind of fun, flamboyant way to stand out. And not, although that not everybody wants that, I think there are enough guitar players that are trying to stand out and be different. I would think there would be more guitar players that would want to use these strings. Um, and so I, I don't know. I don't know what it is that stops. Maybe it's some guitar players have tried them and uh, didn't like the feel of them. So I wanna pose it to you, I'm curious. Have you ever tried the DR colored strings? They're neon strings or they're rainbow strings. What did you think of them? Did you put them on and instantly hate them? Did you put them on and you became a convert for life and now that's all you use? Do you only use them on certain performance guitars? Uh, yeah, let me, let me know what, what you think. Um, I'm gonna try the white set after this and that may be what I use from now on on this guitar. All right, you guys, uh, be sure and like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.